Uh, good morning. Uh, hope you are doing fine wherever you are. And uh, we are glad that uh, you are watching our video today. So before we start anything, kindly consider subscribing to our channel so that next time we have similar video, uh, YouTube will notify you. In this video today, uh, we are glad that we have been able to reach um, 600 and sorry 962 points, and we are glad to share with you our secret so that at least you can score the highest point in our class. We can go straight to R&D and start with our nano product, which is Abi, and uh, we'll increase our performance to 11.8, reduce size to 6.3, and then for our product Alan, increase to 13.9 the performance and um, reduce the size to 8.3 um, for our product aft uh, we will increase performance to 6.2 and reduce size to um, fourteen point zero for agape we will increase performance to eight point eight and reduce um, size to eleven point two uh, if we make these changes, actually our revision dates for the first two products, which is Nano and L8, are quite late. So we can use some adjustments using TQM to manage um, the revision dates to make them to come out a little earlier so that we can have enough time to sell. We are, we are going also to introduce... We are going to introduce three products. You can guess any name. As long as you start with an A, because this is company entry. Um, our first product will be a crossover product, meaning that it will sell both the um, nano and night market segment. We gave it performance of 11.0 and uh, size of 9.0 and reliability of 22,000. Our next product, our next new product which we will introduce is a, a nano product. We gave it a performance of 12.8, size of 5.3, and reliability of 24,000. The final new product we introduce in this round is an LA product. We gave it performance of 14.9, a size of 7.3, and a reliability of 26,000. Um, I think with this decision, we are going to stand out for when it comes to sorry when it comes to re research and development, and we are likely to end down with the highest point. So to improve our decision, we are going to do uh, TQM, which we spend like a thousand uh, one thousand dollars per each um, strategy. For strategies that influences uh, research and development and uh, admin cost reduction, uh, we spent uh, 1,500 because doing so will make a product come out a little earlier. Also, it will reduce admin cost with larger percentage, meaning that um, we'll be able to increase our profitization. As you can see, our revision data actually have reduced by a greater margin, and um, the result is that our latest product will come out latest by August 2021 and this is a uh, quite a good number especially because we want to we want our product to have much time in the market so that um, we can utilize or we can compete effectively with others and earn the highest point possible let's go to marketing um, we'll change the prices for our product in a product in Drift and Co. We reduce the price for our Drift product with 20.5 and that for Co. product with 30.0. For promo and sales budget, uh, we spend 2,000 on each strategy. For promo and sales, we spend 2,000 on each category uh, so that um, at least we can have highest accessibility and awareness compared to our competitors.
Let's go to production for AB, which is our nano product. We produce um, 850 because we had inventory of 265 units. For Alan, uh, which is uh, an elite product, we also produce 850 because we had inventory of 217 units. After which is uh, a thrift product, we had inventory of 759 units, so we produce 1250 units. For Agape, uh, which is a co product, uh, we produce uh, 1900 units because we had inventory of 51 units. So we also introduced new products, so we needed to have capacity for them, and uh, we purchased capacity of 300 units for each and provided each with an automation level of 4.0. We also increased our capacity for Agape and Aft by 150 and 130 respectively because uh, we estimated that um, um, the second shift production is going to increase so there is a strain in our production capacity. To increase our capacity, help us to reduce the strain and also help us to make sure that we are, we are within the uh, required level so that you can get the maximum point when it comes to plant utilization. For uh, automation, we increase automation for Abi and Alan to 5.0 from 4.0, and that of Aft we increase to 9.0 from 6.0, while that of Core we increase to 7.0 from 5.0. The reason for increasing the automation for Aft and Agape faster is because these are product in thrift and core segment, which customer require prices to be low. So to cut to cut down the expenses and maximize our profit, there's no other way rather than actually automating the production. I think uh, that's all for production. We can now proceed to human resource. For human resource, we spent 5,000 for recruitment and uh, we offer data hours for training. The reason for spending maximum is so that we can gain all the points that is given under the human resource imbalance scorecard. If you spend less, you are likely to get less points. But here, we are aiming to get the maximum point possible. That's why we spend the maximum. Before going to balance, sorry, before going to finance, let's go to balance scorecard. We see where we are losing point. Most likely on leverage and days of working capital. Days of working capital, we are getting nothing, zero out of four. While for leverage, we are getting 4.2 out of 6. We can still increase our points here, and that is controlled through finance decision. Uh, now, finance. For finance, we spent or we issued long term debt amounting to 14,722. We also issued uh, borrowing amounting to 10,000. Uh, by doing so, we will be able to balance our financial structure and still we'll have some a good amount that will be remaining as that of 31st December. Uh, what you need to check is cash, cash position. Uh, you need to have a large positive number so that you do not end up with an emergency loan in case you made an error in forecasting and production. Because if you produce too much and uh, your focus is not correct, uh, most of the unit is, is going to go into inventory at hand, which actually store money rather than creating money or creating cash for the company. As you can see from our balance scorecard, we have already improved our score for leverage and days of working capital. And at least now we are going to score high point and um, something good for the start. Um, I think that's all for today. In case you have any question, kindly comment below or uh, can send us an email via the email information provided on the video description and on the screen below on the bottom section of this screen again thank you have a nice time also remember to subscribe and like our video so that we can grow together thank you